Good morning, I'm on uh, Botanic Avenue. Quite a busy, arty type avenue running out of Belfast. And this is the iconic bookshop that is No Alibis. Run for the last 20 years, built from nothing by a guy called David Torrance. Spotted a niche in the market and uh, that niche was detective fiction. So most of the books inside here are uh, dealing with that subject. And in an age when uh, bookshops generally are closing and when the, the Kindle has taken over, you're saying to yourself, the, you know, the written page, it's not going to survive much longer. Well, actually, no alibis bucks that trend completely and it is a true survivor and it's doing very very well um, and part of the reason for that is that the folk running it are adaptable and they they move with the times and they they are crea creative uh, in their approach and part of that creativity can be seen in the uh, the music gigs that they uh, run and uh, poetry gigs and all sorts of evening gigs that they run. We'll take a wee dander in. You can see everything is crime fiction here. Hill Street Blues Redder in Belfast. And they've had, had all sorts of uh, leading personalities, celebrities visiting uh, the bookshop here. Uh, all sorts of uh, musicians. I believe Van Morrison has visited and uh, Brian Houston has played. Because I was down, I was down watching him and listening to him. And if you go onto the website, um, you can catch up on what's happening here. Um, I'm told by uh, what's what's your name? My name's Stephen. Stephen, I'm told by Stephen that if if I was well into detective fiction, that these two books are the bee's knees. And these two guys, Kavanagh and McGilloway, both uh, from Belfast, and their books were launched out of No Alibis on Botanic Avenue here last week or the week before. And uh, would you reckon that they're right up there with uh, Colin Bateman or somebody like that? I think they are two of the finest crime writers uh, that's, this place has produced. Right. You heard that from uh, the man himself. Uh, Stephen, who knows it's crime fiction, and these are the two two of the best Belfast writers of crime fiction. So, come down here and grab yourself a copy. He's just telling me some of the famous uh, writers and faces who have uh, graced the doors of this shop. So we've had... I mean, there's James Elroy uh, was here, I think, uh, sometime over ten years ago. Right. He was here twice. He was here twice, yeah. So, right. Um, you know, he would be one of the biggest names in crime fiction. Right. Um, we've had, had all sorts of other people have had quotes, like Michael Longley and Kieran Carson. Um, we've just been selling the books for the launch of Sinead Morrissey, Belfast First Poet Laureate. Um, yes, yes. We've just been selling the books for her latest launch. Um, along with that we've been doing some, some new things. So you'll see here there's a magazine called The Tangerine. Right. And it's a group of postgraduate students from Queens that put that together. Right. Um, Brilliant. So they, that's a, a new initiative. So this place is a haven of of uh, the arts and crime fiction. Either a haven or a hideout. 